In this video, we'll write the Lewis structure for lithium chloride, LiCl. For lithium chloride, lithium is a metal and chlorine is a nonmetal. That means that this is an ionic compound and the electrons are going to be transferred from the metal, the lithium, to the nonmetal, chlorine. So first, we'll look on the periodic table. Lithium is in group one. That means it has one valence electron. So we'll write that like this. Then chlorine is in group 17, sometimes called 7A. It has seven valence electrons. So let's write that for chlorine. So we said that lithium, the metal, would transfer an electron to the nonmetal, chlorine. So lithium transfers this electron here to the chlorine. And when it does that, since it's lost the electron, the negative, it becomes positive. So we'll put brackets around lithium to show that it's an ion with a positive side outside. The chlorine has gained an electron. So now it has eight valence electrons, a full outer shell, which we call an octet. Because it gained an electron, it now has a negative charge. So we'll put brackets around it with the negative charge on the outside. So now we have lithium with a positive charge, the lithium cation, and then the anion, the chloride anion, with a negative. Positives and negatives attract, and that's what forms the ionic bond. Do understand that lithium chloride is what's called a formula unit. We'd find many of these aligned in a regular pattern in a crystal. And that would look like this. Here the purple represent the lithium ion and the chloride ion, Cl minus, is represented by the green. What we drew was a formula unit for lithium chloride. And that looked like this. This is Dr. B with the Lewis structure for lithium chloride, LiCl, and thanks for watching.